Hello, Tigris98 here again. Today we will be reviewing the movie Creep. It's an amazing movie. So the plot is that Creep is a movie about this cameraman that takes a job on Craigslist. The cameraman's name is Joseph. So when he takes a job from Aaron, another man in the movie on Craigslist, he doesn't ask any other questions except why is he making this movie and the guy the guy just tells him to say yes or no, will you do it? Joseph agrees to do it without any information at all. So that's where the movie begins. The actions of the movie are very suspenseful. They will leave you in suspense. And they left me in suspense how the character, how, how Patrick Bryce embraced this character and made everyone uh, have that suspenseful feeling about this movie that he wrote the storyline to. It was a very amazing storyline, by the way. The character that most, uh, that most had, uh, that was most effective was Aaron. Patrick Bryce's character be, of how he kept himself together, very secretive of why he the reason why he was doing the movie. He had he had Mark Duplass's character think he was still doing this movie for can, uh, for his family because he had cancer. But you will learn more while you watch the movie. I don't want to ruin the mo the movie. Uh. The costumes. The costumes were very much effective about this movie because for this movie because of the suspense. So what when Aaron when they were filming, Aaron was always fooling around with this wolf mask he wore part of some parts of the film and running around the house trying to scare people with it. So it was a like a very odd movie, like a horror slash sci uh, not sci fi, but it was it was like in in the horror section of Netflix. It was a very amazing. The costumes were very amazingly done, and left you feeling what you were supposed to feel throughout the film, like a very creepy feeling. It left you like someone was watching you the whole time. It was an amazing feeling. I felt like I was. I also felt like I was Joseph, the person filming the the video for his family and I didn't know why I was filming it. It had me feel like I was Joseph. The scenery was very amazing and very important part of the movie because since they are in the remote in a remote forested forested area it, during this whole film they had to use they use the forest as their playground it was a very amazing line. So Aaron walks around with this wolf mask in the forest at night and tries getting Joseph to film to film uh, f film him running like a wolf in the forest. Uh, so that was very amazing as well. the The script was very amazingly written. The story was amazingly written by Patrick Bryce. He plays Aaron in the film again. And anything that Patrick Bryce said as Aaron made me feel uh made me feel like Mark Duplass's ca character was like Mark Duplass's character very puzzled leaving me both men were very amazing in this film in my opinion. Um, it was a me. It, it was ver ver. Anything that was versed was amazing. I felt the suspense from from the script. I, I felt the suspense throughout the whole film, like it was supposed to leave you suspenseful. It was amazing. Again, um, pace of the film. The pace of the film. Uh, the had my interest, which was. Really important to me because of of who the characters were. The, 
The characters, Aaron play, I'm not gonna ruin it, Aaron played a weird man who had a film fetish and stuff like that, I'm guessing. And and Mark Duplass's character had that weird had that weird vibe like had that weird he had the weird vibe feeling to to him like he wasn't sure what he was filming and why he was filming it it was it was very scary at some parts so that was what was important to me because if it's a horror I like it when it's scary I like having those jump scares it was amazing 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 I can't stop saying how amazing this film was and how it made me feel in the end. The lasting effect it had on me um, with question, I, I had a lot of questions about this film in my head. Like what I would ask the character if, if I was in that film. Um, so... It, and if there would be a, a, another sequel, which they have made a sequel to it in 2017, I can't remember the date exactly, but I did find part two on Netflix. I loved it as much as I love this film, so that would be the next. So I really liked both films. I can compare... I can compare this film with other horror movies because there is some clips that I remember, oh yeah, I think I've seen this somewhere. Or I think, like, I, th I, like, I remember some parts always somewhere. It, it's in me, like, I remember some parts looking like other films I have seen and then I have to recall the movie I have watched. That was also important to me because of the feeling, because I am a horror fan uh, and how, and it did show how the world is very dangerous online and what, and what can be done. So, um, we can safely expand our comments on this film, uh, on the problem issues that, um, the online, like whenever you're online, uh, I think that in my opinion, people should, this movie to taught me um, like, to ask more questions, what, what do people, if you're looking for a job online, like, on Craigslist or Kijiji, ask questions, take someone with you at all times, like, don't go alone to these kind of places, um, I think that's, in my opinion, um, Mark, uh, Mark Duplass's character was sort of weird, not taking someone with him, but the ad did say come alone, but he could have taken a friend just to drive him and come back for him at night. Um, and it was a very amazing film. Like, you you will like it. I haven't told you a lot about the film. I told you some parts I like, and if you want, you can list your opinion below. And there is a subscription button below as well. Click or click if you want to be notified whenever I make a new video click the bell button below as well and subscribe uh, there will be more videos like this I am making a I am making a series of these kind of review movie reviews that I have seen over the last few weeks I will be filming them I have to film my X-Men as well so look keep an eye out for my uh, X-Men Apocalypse review and X-Men Days of Future Past and the Deepwater Horizon is an amazing, but based on true story, based on true facts. So I will make that review as well. Thank you. Have a great day. This is Tignus90L signing out.